welcome to a very short edition of One Way, because for once the weather has cooperated. Where we go, one way, west. And let's do that as slowly as this thing can possibly do it. And as you know, we play this on a phone. So as I move around, you hear some scratching and uh, popping. That's my fingers moving along the display. And of course, it likes to ass crawl whenever the thing gets remotely warm which it's been in my pocket because I was going somewhere. So, of course, it's going to go a quarter mile an hour at best. So this is going to be short because we're... We're in a laundromat already. Typically in an ideal situation, these are shorter videos where we start and end in the laundromat. But I've had a f quite a few rainy days over the past few months. I mean, not a whole lot of them, but a lot of them were, things were questionable. And I am surprised with this phone being lukewarm that it's actually still running okay. You know that's going to change. I'm also at a different laundromat because I got the second shot in the arm today, so. I got all the Pfizer that I need. And thank goodness the one that was available is Pfizer. I know it's one that's probably going to need a rejuvenation and a like about six months but clinical studies have shown that it is the vaccine with the least problems Moderna does okay but the side effects I don't think I really want to deal with more so on the final shot now they say with Pfizer you might have COVID-ish symptoms on like a day after the shot and it'll last a day or two at most and I see a village and the phone's starting to do its slideshow thing wonderful because I hate going someplace fast like I said this thing was in my pocket so it's slightly warm therefore it's not going to therefore it's going to take its sweet time doing anything So I found this really, and I mean, really is being hindered by the difficulty of doing anything. All right, we got plenty of beds. You don't have to worry about that. And we almost hit a villager. That would have been bad. We got a smithy that we can uh, slideshow over to. Hopefully we can get some more obsidian. We have, and we have, and we have 16. It only took 74 tries. I like it when it only takes 74 tries instead of the usual 76. That's better. Now we just need four for the minimum accepted level. As we attempt, all right, I need to go inside a little more so I can see where I'm going. And we can move the player. I'm pushing the move button. That means we move. That's the thing we should be doing right now. Oh, and there's an outpost right there. Yeah. All right, so we're just going to use this bed here. If we can get to 22, if we can get to, what is it? 220K, we're doing all right. Especially how slow this thing likes to go. And I'm in a different laundromat, so. The washer is a lot faster, so the washer phase is going to be a lot quicker. And that is not what I wanted to do. Need to be 
moving. Get out of dodge, and that's why. He's coming my way. We can move. That's a good thing we can try. I had no choice, that little brat was in the way. And I'm standing where there's an open door where a nice breeze is coming in, so you might be hearing some wind. Stopped. But we're gonna go fast because that's how we get to the our hopeful go a lot faster by moving faster. Obsidian count. We would like to have more than 20, but 20 will do. Because if I screw up, then bet. Okay, how about double tap means run? There you go. Imagine that. I double tap and you run. Or at least do something that is supposed to look like that I'm running. It's a fairly hot day. It's late May and we already got summer temperatures of almost 90 degrees, but that breeze feels good. I gotta once in a while take a look and see how far the laundry's gone. And, okay. That was just, okay, we're not ducking, we're moving. And we have a village, but any of these a sniff like because we need to move because we don't have too many see this one should be upset with us and it's not because we haven't done anything yeah we're just going to keep moving because we don't have the time today Turn. Can move a little bit. All right, 
right so already because they have uh, better machines here than the laundromat that I go to it, my, uh, the, la the uh, washer cycle is almost already done got another five useful minutes so far today. If we can get 10k out of this, then I guess we're doing alright. I am surprised that it is hard to get around as it is. And I'm going further away from my target goal, which is over here. Oops, I totally missed that sign. Whoa, whoa, stop. They want us to be covered up in this laundromat. I totally missed that sign. It's blocked by a door. Well, the one I normally go to, I don't bother. All right. What I'm doing is I'll just figure out the times and then I know I got about three more minutes, and then my laundry's done, then I'll cover up, come back out here. Found a spot that looks weird next to the window where I can see where I'm, what I'm doing, and we can, if we can do something that's not slide showing, that would be even better. Quick look around, looking for a smithy or something that resembles it. Because we're not, we don't have a lot of time today. Yeah, I'm having a feeling we're not going to get very far today. Because this thing does not like to work, as I've mentioned before, when it gets ever so slightly warm. Okay, I can move away from the door, and I, it's it's weird. I to get the best lighting and not be in the building. I'm literally standing right in front of the window of the laundromat because I am not doing this covered up. That is not going to be a thing. So, about another 30 seconds and then dryer time. So what I might do, if we can run, oh, berry bushes, hopefully we don't hit any. We didn't. Is we'll hopefully make some good time here. This thing's actually doing surprisingly. If I'm standing out in a 90 degree weather, it seems to want to work, but we know that will change. It'd be stupid to think it would keep working. But let's enjoy it while we can, and we're starting to slideshow in really bad places, so things like that can happen. Okay, we're not ducking, we are running. Running is way better than ducking. 
Yay, somebody's blaring their loud music, thinking I might want to hear it. So I'm just going to talk really loud, face the mic in here, and you know what, it's about time. So let's put the bed down and sleep and sleep. Okay, they left. But it is about time. So I'm going to sleep, and then we'll continue it from there. So we're going to sleep and continue it from there. I swear the sun's down right now. I'm going to sleep. We're going to sleep. We're going to sleep. And continue from there. We are now in the dryer phase. Just slightly, and I mean literally slightly as in one minute difference. Again, short changed. Versus the 30 minutes for a washer, which took 19 minutes for the ones that are in this one. So it's almost half the time for the washer phase. So it'll be interesting to see if we can hit 220. 221, and we're not ducking, we're running. See if we can hit 221 for distance. And of course, the thing that sucks here is I have to deal with everybody's music. And what also isn't fun is that I already forgot what time my uh, laundry's due to finish. I have an idea. We can run. We didn't say stop running. Uh, da, 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 da. Now we do. Now we don't. That could have been bad. It looked like it might have been. And speaking of bad things, that means there's a river, which means something we gotta cross that's really big and annoying. dirt that's a lot faster than trying to dig out okay we can run try running the player that helps makes things go faster sudden sharp turn because sudden uh, sudden drop we know sudden drops in this game are not always a good thing sun drop into the water yeah, sudden drop and it's not water, not good. Now right, we got a little opening over here that we can make our way around. So this is not going to be one of our, one of our fast runs or long winded. I thought that we might have been okay, but just at the last minute before switching back, found that it was not okay, that it was a body of water surrounded by a meter of blockage, and that is not good. Smack. That's not good either. But the thing is, the terrain is really supporting the ability to run and move. The more that happens, of course, the better. As we get further. And with how slow this phone is, that's becoming a challenge. And maybe sooner than later I might get a new phone to do this on because I'm waiting for things to get better and like I said I got my uh, second zap in the arm so we can climb we can climb the 
food. We can move the player, that's even better. We can break the block. We can move. Why must we have to recite every single step we make? Can we not just do the job? This also reminds me we could use a bed. Two beds removed from that iron golem. Uh, yeah, this is... I was aiming for up here. Maybe that might have done something. I don't know. Oh, it's now getting bright enough that I can't see anyway. And we are not running. Of course. Of course, when he left, he took away the breeze that we had. So now I can barely see what I'm doing again. And we're not moving. Okay. I said I'm outside, it's hard to see what I'm doing. And a village. See if we find a smithy. We shouldn't make sudden moves like that because that means more laterals, which also means bigger file size. And I have the uh, simulation distance as low as it goes, four chunks, because one, phone. And two, it tends to help with the ability to. It tends to help with the ability to. And why is there a giant ravine between me and the village? There always has to be something wrong. And it's an abandoned village. So who knows what we're going to get here. Again, we're looking for smithies or anything that resembles it. We are not going to spend a lot of time looking. Okay, that's just... It is what it is there. Slide showing. 6,000 to go if we can make it. And we're not moving. Yeah, nothing really there. So, slide show past that. The good thing about getting it done after the second zap in the arm, the laundry is I don't have to do it at night now. I might have to suck it up and do this cover because I can't see a thing that I'm doing. So I'm just going to stop right here just for a bit, put the phone down, and make myself uncomfortable. It's getting too hot. So now I gotta try and over enunciate a little bit so you can hear me, so that I can actually come in the building. Literally when I walked in, I did not see the sign. It was literally obscured by the reflection of the outdoors, completely. And it looks like we're in yet another jungle, which is really perfect for someone who has a phone with low frame rates. It's not really all that much cooler in here. Yeah, why did he have to shut that door? 
It's nice and cool. There we can move. You know what? Let's go right here in the middle of the patch. Put down the bed. There we go. Okay, it, it, it has, but it's slideshowing so bad. Jungles are not territories that help move the mile marker. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, that didn't really go far. Yeah, now that you close that door, it's hot as it Hades in here. Oh, a little more than a half hour to go. Alright, let's... This is bad. Averaging 14 kilometers an hour, not on this phone. I think 13 was the high. it stuff. I really like it when we randomly whack it stuff. That's much better. All right, so, oh, no, we're not there yet. It's actually hotter in here than it is in there. to go. Not looking very favorable. The only good thing about following this river is it's allowing the game to load up the chunks in so we can get a little less laggy performance. Alright, turn. Get rid of this. Put this in our hand. 
turn and randomly whack at things. Yeah, these forests aren't, these uh, winter-esque biomes aren't all that better either because you got all this ground cover which is slowing down the frame rate quite a bit. cooler outside we can move take off the stupid cover we can move the breeze feels good It's almost time to pull out the air conditioner at the apartment because that's starting to heat up now. We're keeping it cool by when the uh, when the temperatures cool off and it gets dark. I open the upper windows to try to force the heat out of the apartment. Looks like that tricks the time to use that trick to work. It, get it to work is no longer a thing. It's just getting too warm at this point in time. Alright, favorable. Alright, now we can run. There you go, running. Running goes faster. I like faster. Oh, and a uh, village. I hate laterals, but if there's a smithy, we can make some moves. Like I said, we're not going to spend a whole lot of time looking. Although this is one of those that... Alright, this is a weapon smith, which, okay, we can... Alright, 23 obsidian. That's good. It means we can start moving. Means we can start moving. Which means once again I'm gonna have to put things down because I need to be in here to see. Which means I have to be uncomfortable.
Yeah, you can jump. Contact. Yeah, whatever. Alright, so what we're gonna do is gonna place a bed. We have some raw stuff. So what we're gonna do is gonna place this here. We're going to hurry the hell up. Make a chest. Just next to the bed. Store a little bit of food. And da, 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 da. Yeah, let's store in a little extra food. And a bed. And a bed. Yep, pressing buttons. Might want to react. Might want to react. Switch that to that. Put this in here. I did not set the bed on fire. That's good. Yeah, we're going to be uncomfortable again. This could be bad. Stand here where it's not as bad. away from the dryer so it's a little cooler. Kind of need to see what we're doing at this point. Oh, of course that had to happen. Super pointless. Well, guess where we're going. We just lost a bunch of obsidian. This can be swapped back out, and this can go where it's not going to burn things down. We can turn. We can turn. How about movement? Can we do something? That would be great. Take the chest. No damage done here. Actually, what we can do is turn, turn. Yeah, let's eat the food. Okay, this is in the wrong position. Here's another time kill. Yeah, you know what? We need the time, but we also need these pieces. do this the next night because as we've seen we were over a giant lava bed and we can move the player we can break yeah so we're going to lose a ton of time here
So it won't be the this coming day, but the next time, probably next episode, we'll try that nether. We'll try the nether hub again. Try moving. I like moving better. It's getting more breezy, that's for sure. Oh, look, lava pit. I wish I didn't close that back door. again which means I'm now of course it comes off when of course when I hit a roadblock is there a point we can move I like those nice jump Glad I pressed the jump button so nothing would happen. Well, let's just see what happens. And we're underwater. Probably gonna get landlocked. The way the chunks are generating it might not happen. Sorry if it sounds windy on your end, but the way I have to point to see this, it has to literally blow into them. This it has to literally come in the same direction the microphone's pointing. The land masses always be garbage when it matters most. sudden jerky movements that's pretty much the only way to have total and utter control over the boat
so this goes away, boat goes here. Can't see much, but like I said, with the wind, it is just so much better out here. Like I said, noise-wise, it's probably not that good for you, but I'd rather be comfortable. I got places to go. I don't need to be. I don't need to be sweat-stained. I'm trying to say. So probably next time we will take our reclaimed nether hub and see what happens. So like I said, we're a long ways from anything useful. And every eight blocks we travel here is one down there. So yeah, we're steering clear from the zero point again. But in the long run, this is actually helping our progress. All right, so I think right about here, I'm gonna turn. We have to mention that because it won't do it if we don't. Put another bed in the palm and sleep. Next day, 218. Maybe, just maybe, we might do it. It's a stretch, but we might do it. I saw the ravine, that was a thing. And we can swim. We might be, yeah, we're probably not going to hit 10K today. Then again, we had a lot of, a uh, lot of episodes where we've made some pretty good progress, so. In spite of having, for the most part, decent terrain, and we're not moving, and I did see the lava pool. That I couldn't see. We can turn. I know turning is very difficult because uh, it's a process, you know. Really? Okay, we can move. We can move. Okay, how about turning?
and there's a village. That villager was the only thing that gave it away, and we can move, which of course we're not going to. Okay, uh, not gonna give me some clear indications we're not going to be staying. We're trying to, we're trying to move. Why can we not move? Village goes everywhere, don't it? Why can we move? We've got ten more minutes. We are definitely not going to make it. We're at two, well, you can effectively call it 219. Oh, wow. Hunger. You gotta pay attention to that. We got enough food, we can waste that. Anyway, back this way again. There's, there's an easier way to get around. didn't have to zigzag we could probably have made it and we're stuck on the side because we can't move yeah 10 more minutes yeah we're not gonna make it although things have flattened out quite a bit The slide showing is killing it though. Oh, and so is that. That helps. The only good thing is it helps with the processor sort of keep up with things. So you see it'll it'll move for a few moments. Then nah, we can't. Weird terrain. Yeah, we can move now. And big drop. some favorable lands here and of course I didn't see that coming till it was too late well this will get us close it's not gonna get us there then again it might make a liar out of me and we will get there we're gonna find out because we got seven minutes. And yeah, that's very unlikely. If the nether cooperated, we probably would have done it. And yes, I spent all the time getting our stuff back because we need to move a certain amount to move a lot less than the nether. 
Whereas if we could have moved in the nether, we would have had... We would gain 8 pixels for every... 8 blocks, or 8 meters for every 1 meter down there. Which a block is a meter, because I know some people don't play this game and watch this stuff. And probably might be wondering how big is a block. It's a 1 meter cube. And I wasn't, I was paying attention to the sun, not the tree. So I literally just walked into that one. And we're not running. Here we go. Now we got to 220. There's a possibility, and I mean a very slight possibility, if things cooperate fully, we could do it. Unfortunately, the sun is now setting at an angle where I can't see much of anything. So once again, I'm going to place the bed. We can move, we can turn, and place the bed. Cover on. There's only five minutes on the clock, and I'm not going to make it. Alright, whoops, I bumped into a bumped into the wall trying to get to where it's easier to see the screen in the dark. And I can keep an eye on my dryer. Yeah, we're gonna be so close, but we're not gonna make it. Doesn't help when the thing slideshows. Give it a go. Every little jump helps. Oh, we're at three. We're a third of the way towards t the next thousand. It doesn't help with all these lily pads. It doesn't help that we're slide showing again. This could help. We might get there after all. And boat. left. Less than 500 blocks to go. Well, the only good thing about the ocean is it's really helping to get us further along. Three on 
less than 300 to go. So we get some usable land on the left. And another piece of land there. Surprised we got that far, and there's no, no clouds the whole time. Anyway, that's this edition of One Way. Just barely got the 10K in Georgia 551 single. Jordan, have a good one.